hi it's richard from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful blouse please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified You will need a blouse block pattern to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. Press around your block as usual, making sure to mark all your notches. Lift your block. Square in your waistline. Lengthen your blouse to your desired length. I'm adding five centimeters and then adding two centimeters same allowance and squaring both downwards like i'm doing from the hip line and from the center front line now coming to the center front neckline we're going to lower it down by 13 centimeters and then moving out at the neck shoulder junction by one centimeter so from the notch i'm going one centimeter out square little line and go down and put a notch for my seam allowance and then from the seam allowance line i'm going 13 centimeters down for the mark just outlining my seam allowance there 1.5 centimeters now connecting these two points with a straight line like i'm doing here adding a seam allowance one centimeter and going through the center front as well to add the one centimeter seam allowance and i'm putting my notch there to show where my neckline is ending adding notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern front top cut one pair and i put my initial now measuring down the center front from the neck shoulder junction all the way down along the seam line and write the measurement down now adding my green line parallel to the center front and cutting around the pattern So the front pattern is finished, now we're moving on to the back. Press around your block as usual, making sure to mark all your notches. Lift your block, square in your waistline, lengthen your top like we did with the front 5 centimeters, and add a hem allowance of 2 centimeters squaring down from the hip line and from the center back line like we did with the front now i'm just outlining the notches for my seam allowances at the center back and the neck shoulder junction now extending the neckline one centimeter at the neck shoulder junction like we did with the front and squaring a line down then extending out our seam allowance for the neckline at the center back now with your calf ruler join these two points like i'm doing here and outlining my shoulder seam 1.5 centimeters now adding a seam allowance to my neckline one centimeter and smoothening everything out with a calf ruler like i'm doing here So this part of the pattern is not included anymore and now we're going to go ahead and measure from the center back through to the next shoulder junction just on the seam line like i'm doing here and write the measurement down adding notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern back top 
cut one on fold and I put my initial so center back is going to be on fold and adding my grain line parallel to the center back now cut around your pattern And the back pattern is finished now we're moving on to making the center front piece or plank or fold whatever you want to call it so get the two measurements that we made for the front piece which is the center front and the neckline plus the back neckline as well get the two measurements and add them together so they will give us the length of the plank and then for the width decide on the width you want I'm gonna decide on five centimeters so multiply that by two to make it 10 centimeters for me so we're basically going to just draw a rectangle of 81.5 centimeters by 10 centimeters now first draw a straight line square up on one end and measure 81.5 centimeters square at the end again now we're going to put in our 10 centimeters on different points now draw a straight line joining these points together Next, you're going to add a seam allowance at the top and the bottom, one centimeter. So my center back is going to be on fold, and now I'm measuring from the center back 11 centimeters, which is my back neck measurement. So I'm putting the notches there to show where our shoulder seams will be. And adding my grain line in the middle of the pattern piece. Now labeling the pattern, front piece or center front piece. We have two options to cut this. You can cut it on fold according to your fabric width or you can cut two pieces separately. But then you will need to add a seam allowance at the back here if you are using option two which is to cut two pieces separately. And I put my initial now cut around your pattern just adding notches to the pattern piece there and my front piece is finished now I'm moving on to making the sleeves so you need your basic blouse sleeve block pattern to do this I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well so trace around your sleeve from elbow notch to elbow notch, lift your block, square in your elbow line and your grain line and square in your underarm line as well. Now we're going to measure from one end 10 centimeters from the underarm line and repeat the same on the other side so 10 centimeters down from the underarm line. Now we're going to measure the same 10 centimeters along the grain line from the underarm line down. Now join these three places together making sure that you're blending them together nicely. Now adding a hem allowance for my sleeve 2 centimeters. Extending the hemline out a little further. So this is 2 centimeters. Now we're going to come in by 2 centimeters on each end. And then we're going to connect a straight line from that point to the underarm line like I'm doing here on both sides just to give it a nice snug fit so these parts are not going to be included in our sleeve pattern anymore so next we're going to go ahead and fold back along the hemline of our sleeve like I'm doing here and cut around our sleeve pattern adding notches to my pattern and labeling the pattern sleeve cut one pair and I put my initial so I'm going to be using the original grain line still and our sleeve pattern is finished now all our pattern pieces are finished and now we're moving on to sewing now on to making our top 
what you need are your completed patterns your fabric and your cutting tools so for the fabric i'm going to be using this polka dot chiffon fabric now let's move on to cutting our fabrics Now all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew. So first grab your back piece, lay it on the table with the right side facing up. Grab the front pieces, lay them on top of it, matching the shoulder seams with the right sides facing down, meaning they will be right sides facing. Pin along the shoulders. Now take this to the sewing machine and sew along the shoulder seams and overlock them. Okay, now so that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn our top to the wrong side like this. Now with your top wrong side facing up, grab your plain piece. Fold it in half lengthwise, wrong sides facing, and matching your notches. So we're going to put our notches onto the shoulder seams here. And pin it along the whole open edge. Now make sure that you've got all the three layers together. Now we'll take this to the sewing machine and sew all around this seam. When we finish that, we're going to overlock it and we're going to also understitch it. Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, now so that's done. Now with your top wrong side facing up, you're going to grab both the center front pieces, aligning them at the bottom. Just align them together like this, matching your seam here, and we're going to pin along until we get to where our neckline is starting. Remember, this is a V neck, so I put my owl punch here to show me where to start sewing. Pin along the seam, making sure to match it well. Now we're going to go ahead and sew in the ditch along the stitching line here from where the neckline is topping all the way down to the hemline. Let's go and do that. So we've done that. Now you're going to open your front piece right side facing up like this. And we're going to go ahead and open the plank like this exposing the seam and we will take this to the iron and iron it nice and flat as well as ironing around the neckline i've done that for mine already so now with your top right side facing up we're going to go ahead and open it up like this exposing the armholes get the sleeve pieces and lay them on top of this making sure you've got the right sleeve for the armhole and pin them along for both sides
now take this to the sewing machine and sew along the armholes and overlock them okay now so the sleeves are sewn on now we're going to go ahead and finish off our side seams so what we're going to do is to pin from the sleeve hem all the way down the side seam matching all our seams and notches Now take this to the sewing machine and sew from the sleeve hem all the way to the top hem for both sides and overlock them, okay? So the side seams are sewn and overlocked. Now we're going to go ahead and hem the sleeves and the top, okay? So for the sleeves, we're going to go ahead and overlock right round and then we're going to turn the hem under and top stitch it, okay? Then for the hem of the top, we're going to go ahead and give it a double turned hem. Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the sleeve hems and the hem of the top. And I also gave this a nice press. And I'm happy with the result. Thank you.